It's time for a color palette pyramid featuring Decorators White by Benjamin Moore. All the colors we're going to talk about today are from the same company. They are all arranged in a really easy to understand fashion that we call the Paint People Palette Pyramid. Starting with your main color up top, your support colors right below it, and then finally your finishing colors to accentuate certain parts of your home. We recently did a review on Decorators White by Benjamin Moore. I'll leave it in the cards up top and in the description down below if you want to check that out. A more dedicated review on that color. But in this video, we're going to take Decorators White and put it into a color palette that I put together myself personally for you for free. So why don't we start with Decorators White specifically? Where in the palette pyramid does it fit? I would almost always put this in the support category, right in the middle. Decorators White is such an awesome choice as a white because that's kind of what it is. It's very clean, it's very soft and subtle, it's not overly bright either. And anytime you would need a white, which would be on baseboards traditionally, doors, frames, ceilings, sometimes walls, maybe. Decorators White's great for that. It just has a bit of a gray undertone, so nothing that pulls it into an overly warm or cool direction, typically speaking. And I think it's really earned its name as being a reliable choice for decorators and anyone else who wants to use it. So in this support section of the palette pyramid, you have colors that are supporting your main default color up top. And while Decorators White is being supportive as being the baseboard color, Ice Cap, our second color, is going to be a secondary choice on your walls. So this is very much a cool leaning color, which might give you a hint as to the kinds of colors I'm gonna be putting in this whole palette. And I love it because it has this very sort of familiar blue, green, gray combination that I really enjoy. Kind of a muted, very cool seafoam green in a way. But in practicality, based on what people's lights typically are like in person, this color will feel a little cooler than you might suspect. It just has a touch of that green as an undertone. Light reflectance value wise, this has a 67. So that does put it in the light color category. I think as a color, it's gonna give you a lot of use. If you were open to these cooler colors that were a little more saturated than a traditional, just neutral gray beigey type of color, this is an awesome choice. Perfect choice for things like bathrooms. I love this color in the bathroom. Even if you're not using it on walls, this is a color that I could totally use on the vanity. If you wanted to just refresh it, refinish it, just give it some new life. Maybe you're like me and you have one of those mahogany thermofoil type vanities. They're just too dark. A color like this will really revitalize it and make it nice and fresh. But as a support color, Ice Cap is a great alternative to your main color in the areas where you don't really want to use it. Now, what is that main color? Well, why don't we just get to it? <laughs> it is Wish from the Affinity line, AF680. Now this color is quite different from Ice Cap because it doesn't really have any of that blue green to speak of. This is going to be one of those super versatile, neutral grayish colors where it kind of has that same sort of color as like a chocolate milkshake where it's barely brown and there is some gray to tone it down as well. I find this color to be immensely versatile. It's gonna be able to fit in a lot of different situations. Whether you do lean into cool colors a little bit more or you like to stick with warm ones, this is gonna work in both situations very, very well. LRV wise or lightness score is right around 58. So a little bit darker than ice cap, which could be a good thing or a bad thing. It has more depth and richness, so the color will be noticeable, but in areas that maybe don't get great light, the room might feel a little bit darker. So even though you give up a little bit in lightness, you are making up for it with the overall color being very neutral and just easy to work with. So Wish becomes your default color, your main color option. And then Ice Cap is a support color where you wanna switch things up on the walls, maybe in your bathrooms and bedroom. And then Decorators White becomes an awesome trim color choice that you can use on your baseboards, your doors and your frames. So before we finish off with our three finishing colors, I wanted to let you know that we are now offering custom palette pyramids for our viewers. This is a service we provide as an alternative to your traditional online color consultations. Essentially, if you're looking for a personalized color palette pyramid, we can do that for you. And even in these videos, we do six colors for each palette pyramid, but the ones that you'll be getting will have 11. So plenty of options to work with, yet still structured enough that it's not gonna totally overwhelm you. You can be involved as much as you want with the colors. So if you have specific choices that you want to incorporate, or you have no idea and you just want me to put a palette together from scratch, essentially, no problem. Link in the description down below if you want your own personalized palette pyramid. All right, so the finishing colors. This is the row that is the most fun. It's gonna have the most color, the most richness. These are going to be your accent color choices. Anywhere you want to spice things up and just add some depth. 
even though you have the most options in this row, don't think you have to use all of them in the same place. Think less is more here. Maybe pick one or two. This is just supposed to be the last bit of seasoning on top. Starting with Templeton Gray. And even though gray's in the name, I see this color way more as a shaded teal. It is a little more blue dominant, but it still has some of that green mixed in. And it has a 24 LRV just about, so a lot more depth here. This is gonna be a color that suits ice cap perfectly. The two fit together like a glove. Comparatively with Wish, there's gonna be more complementary relationship that I think is really interesting, yet you still are sort of fitting in with this greeny blue theme. Now what if Templeton Gray was a bit too cool leaning, you wanted to sort of stay within the warm realm a little bit? Well, that's what Creekside Green gives you. This is almost a more khaki feeling green, I feel. It has more of an earthy sort of brown base rather than a blue one. Also a little bit lighter with a 31 LRV, so that'll give you a bit more life. And this is gonna give you a bit more of a neutral option as well. And then our third finishing color is still within the same sort of realm. It is called Rainy Afternoon. A beautiful color, 15 LRV, so much darker than the rest of them. And this is going to give you a really deep toned down green. It sort of feels like it has just a hint of blue to cool it down a little bit. And Benjamin Moore's description is awesome. As serene as a drizzly Sunday. So it just has that mellow feeling to it that I really enjoy. And like I mentioned, of all the colors, this is gonna give you the most depth by far. So this is what the palette pyramid looks like all together. Please let me know what you think. This is more of a green blue centric palette. And then Wish is kind of just holding it all together, being that great glue color that it is. And don't forget that baseboard color we talked about, Decorator's White. We have a dedicated review on it right over here.